Oh, hi there, boys and girls, and welcome to Bible class. Do you guys know what time it is? It's TikTok time. Go, let's sing. TikTok says the clock. We glad that you are here. TikTok says the clock. God is very near. TikTok. Says the clock, it's time for Bible class. Tick tock. Says the clock to love and learn and love. Yay! Tick tock time is so much fun. <laughs> yes, boys and girls. Now I wonder who else came to Bible class today. Let's have a look. Who else came today? There, up there, no, nobody, no, 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 what? Behind me? Oh, it's Sean the Sheep! Hi, Sean the Sheep, and welcome to Bible Class. Are you excited to be here? <laughs> I am too. Well, let me have a look. Who else came to Bible Class today? Do you want to have a look? Come, let's, let's see. Let's have a look down here. Nothing, nothing, nobody. No one, no one, no. <gasps> it's you, boys and girls. Welcome to Bible Class. We are so excited to have you here with us today. <laughs> Yay! So today, we are going to learn about Paul. But before we do that, we're going to sing our Bible word song. Are you ready to sing? Okay, let's sing. Bible words, Bible words. Thank you, God, for Bible words. It's the truth for all to read. Thank you, God, for Bible words. Yay! I love our Bible word song so, so much. <laughs> oh, so today, Sean the Sheep and you two boys and girls, we are going to learn about Paul. So Paul was a follower of Jesus, but he wasn't always a follower of Jesus. Paul did not like Christians at all at first. <gasps> but guess what happened? Jesus changed his heart. That is so, so cool. When he was on his way somewhere, Jesus came in a bright light and spoke to Paul. <gasps> but let's go watch a story all about that. Of all the people who kept the rules, Saul was the best. He was very proud. Saul was a Pharisee. Pharisees were people who thought they knew all about God. However, they didn't even have a friendship with him. Because they didn't really know God, they didn't believe that Jesus was the Son of God. So, Saul hated anyone who loved Jesus. He traveled around looking for them. He wanted to catch them, put them in prison, and even kill them. That was his mission. He wanted everyone to forget all about Jesus. One day, Saul went on a journey to Damascus. He wanted to take all of the people who believed in Jesus and throw them in prison back in Jerusalem. Saul was on a mission, but little did he know that Jesus himself was about to send him on a new mission. As Saul got closer to Damascus, a spectacular bright light flashed in his eyes. It was so bright that it blinded him and knocked him onto the ground. As he hit the ground, a booming voice sounded out. It was so loud that even the men traveling with Saul heard it. They were all speechless because they did not see where the voice was coming from. The voice cried out, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul asked, who are you, Lord? The voice replied and said, I am Jesus, the one you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city and you will be told what to do. You see, Saul had never spoken with Jesus. So on that day, Jesus spoke to Saul. Saul listened to Jesus and continued on to Damascus. In the city of Damascus, there was a man named Ananias. Ananias was a disciple of Jesus. He knew God because he had a real relationship with him. God gave Ananias a vision and told him to visit the house where Saul was staying. 
God had also given Saul a vision, a vision of Ananias coming to pray for him and restore his sight. Ananias was nervous because he knew who Saul was. He knew that Saul came from city to city to throw people like him in prison, but he listened to God and he accepted the mission. So Ananias went to the house where Saul was staying, and just like in the vision, he prayed for Saul. Immediately, Saul was filled with the Holy Spirit and scales fell off of his eyes. He could see. After this happened, Saul was baptized and began to preach the message of Jesus. He no longer persecuted Christians and threw them in prison. In fact, he now did the opposite. He told people how Jesus could give them freedom. Saul even changed his name to Paul, which means small and humble. Paul was all in for his new mission. He was now running the right race. Wasn't that story awesome? Oh man, I loved watching that story. I hope that you boys and girls did too. And remember that Jesus can change my heart, your heart too. <laughs> well, I have a memory verse to teach you boys and girls. And it says, serve the Lord enthusiastically. Okay, you guys can repeat after me. Serve the Lord enthusiastically. Okay, let's say that one more time. Serve the Lord enthusiastically. Well done, boys and girls. Okay, well, let's close our eyes and let us pray. Lord Jesus, thank you so, so much that you change our hearts and that we can serve you enthusiastically. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen! <laughs> that is so, so awesome. Now, let's go see if Sean the Sheep has been listening to the story. Let's go! Well, Sean the Sheep, I have a few questions for you. And Question number one. Do you remember who we learned about today? Do you remember? Okay, so tell me, who did we learn about? Oh, well done, Sean the Sheep. <laughs> Yay! Sean the Sheep says that we learned about Paul today. You're such a clever sheepy. Well done. Question number two. Do you remember our memory verse for today? Okay, okay, tell me. Are you ready to tell me? Okay, tell me. Uh huh. Yes! Oh, Sean the sheep. You are so, 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 so smart. So, Sean the Sheep says that our memory verse for today is Serve the Lord enthusiastically. Well done, Sean the Sheep. And well done to you two boys and girls. Ah, <sighs> such an awesome verse. And remember, boys and girls, that Jesus changes my heart. He changes your heart, just like he changed Paul's heart. Heart too, and you show the sheep too. <laughs> well, boys and girls, that's all that we have for today. So, should you say bye, show the sheep? Okay, bye, boys and girls. Hey there, we hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us, and turn on the post notifications to keep up to date with our latest content. We'd really love to hear from you, so drop a comment in the comment section below. You can even DM us for any prayer requests or visit our website. You can even WhatsApp us on our WhatsApp line. Stay connected.